Hey everybody, uh, if you're watching this video, you've already looked at the week four topics uh, and you'll have noticed that there's very few topics. There's just a survey question to answer. Uh, however, you have to listen to this video before you can go answer the survey question. And so in this video, I'm gonna go over a couple of things related to the course overall and the work you've been doing up until this point. I've been getting some questions from some of you who have gotten a little bit behind uh, asking whether you can turn in late work. The answer is yes. Um, this course builds on itself, so these skills are supposed to be developing skills. And if you did the work last week, you would have seen that I was reviewing how to write ethograms in preparation for you writing another ethogram. So in this video, I'm going to describe grading. I'm going to go over the uh, uh, formative work you did on answering the questions for behavior causes, and then I'm going to tell you the, what you need to do for this week. Should be a pretty easy week if you've been keeping up. If you haven't been, uh, use this week to get caught up so that when we move on to the next topic, you've got everything kind of ready to go. So let's start by talking about grading in this class. Um, last week you had an assignment due uh, that was about riots, or I'm sorry, not last week, the week before last on Friday, you had an assignment due that was called riots and school shooting behaviors. And I've scored that in Schoology. So I'd like you to go look at that right now, or get that open right now, while I talk briefly about grades. Okay, and then we're gonna come back to this. So get this open on your screen while I talk. Um, let's talk grades in this class. So in this class, overall, there are, are going to be a couple of skills that I'm going to assess. And they're skills that animal behaviorists use, but they're also skills that scientists in general use. I sent you an email and your parents an email about this yesterday. Um, so you can reference the same material here, but it's I think it's sometimes good to have it explained to you directly. So up until this point, you've written two ethograms. You wrote one about the minnows, you wrote one about your individual project, and you have scores for those. And so you got a score for the minnow ethogram. Let's say you got a 2.5, right? That was a kind of a normal score. And let's say for the uh, individual project ethogram, you got a two. Now you also see a summative grade in the grade book right now that says summative grade on ethograms. And sometimes people are confused, They're like what is that summative grade? I don't remember that, can I retake that? Kind of. I made that score up. What I did is I looked at the evidence I have, how well do you write ethograms to this point? And I generated your summative grade based on that. So if I was to look at this, I'd say, well, they got 2.5 on the first one, 2 on the second one. They're probably at about a 2.25 right? It's kind of an average, but it's open to my interpretation. And here's why. Um, you're going to be writing more ethograms. In fact, this week's or last Friday's assessment on the snakes asked you to write your third ethogram. What I was hoping that you did is you went and looked at your first two scores, read about how you had done, what areas were weak, what areas were strong, and you got better. So let's say you did. You went and you're like, oh, I see. I only write relational detail. I need to write more structural detail. Or maybe you'd never really followed the instructions for how to avoid making assumptions and now you get it. Or maybe you came and visited my office hours and I helped explain it to you. But whatever happened, let's say this week you get a 3.5. So in my mind, if I look at all these scores now, I see a student who started off, they didn't really understand it. They did it a couple times and now they get it. So what I'm gonna do Speaking of behavior causes, my dog is outside howling at the noon whistle right now. Every time that whistle goes off, it causes them to do this howling. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so I see that if this was a student's scores, I see that they've made improvements. And at this point now, I'm like, all right, so yeah, so they're at a 3.5. And I would change their grade to a 3.5. And these first couple scores essentially go away. And then let's say later on, um, we do another one, right? Another ethogram. And let's say you get a four on that one. Well, now your ch score changes to a four. So everybody in this class still has an opportunity to earn full credit if you learn the skills, okay? Now, 
when I run into problems or what's difficult for me is what if I have a topic and I have a lot of these, right? Missings, right? So that just basically means I don't have all the evidence I need to give you a grade. Now it's pretty rare that somebody would get a four after turning all the missing stuff in. So let's say they got a three. So what am I gonna give them now? Well, yes, they did earn a three after earning a 2.5, but this isn't exactly the same pattern as the person before who was clearly making improvements over time. This person, I just, I don't have a lot of evidence. Are they making improvements? Were there, is there a clear pattern to their improvement? Uh, I don't know. So now I'm actually going to average. And I want four grades, and when I've only got two, it's not enough evidence for me to give a strong, compelling score. So I might give you a score lower than any of the other two that you've earned. But that's summative grade I generate based upon the evidence that I collect. And I will collect more than enough evidence that I can give, that I can assign you a score that represents what you're able to do. Um, sometimes students do something like this, right? They're just kind of, right? Let's say they're, they're scoring twos and 2.5s just all the time. Well, now I have a lot of evidence that that is your level of understanding. That's your ability. And I'd probably give you a 2.5 because that's kind of your highest score, but you gave them all those attempts. You didn't really learn how to do it any better, but that's a pretty accurate measure of what your skill is, okay? The same thing is gonna be true about behavior causes. So the snake assessment from last week is your first assessment of behavior causes that I'm gonna evaluate. And your score on that is gonna be your first score. Now, like ethograms, I don't expect you to be great at it the first time, right? So let's say you got a, you know, uh, Oh, actually, well, actually, I take that back. That's going to be your second score. Your first score is your uh, riot behavior assessment that you did. So let's say on the riot behavior, you got a 2.5, which was a common score. And you go back and you learn from it, right? Right now, your summative grade for that is a 2.5. But you go back and you look at that snake assessment. You work through that. You figure out how to make good predictions. And now you get a 3.5. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that and that's going to become a 3.5 right because you're showing growth and then we'll do that again a few more times throughout the trimester so that's important to understand how the grades are generated these are the pieces of evidence you create and this is the score I gave you the summative grade not gave you you earned it and I just figure out where you're at okay so for this week all you need to do is go back to your riots and school shooting behavior score Look at the grade I gave you. There's a rubric that describes how I scored it, but essentially this is what it means. If you got a four, you're doing great. You understand how to ask questions about behavior causes. You're describing the definition as you of what a cause is as you give your answer, and your answer clearly shows that you understand the difference between internal and external causes. If you got a 2.5, your answer is talking about internal or external causes. You're not accidentally talking about results or something else, but you didn't define those terms to show me you understand those terms. So it's not just enough to say, to give me the correct answer, you need to explain to me why that's the correct answer. So I know this is an external cause because this is what an external cause is. So use the definitions in your answers, all of your answers, okay? Uh, although I paid particular close attention to the last question where you were trying to make an argument about who had, you know, who was more internally motivated. If you earned a two on it, um, a two generally meant you, you were making some mistakes. Maybe you weren't using concepts about internal and external causes. Maybe you were, you wrote about some causes, but maybe some of the things you wrote about are results. Um, or you just, it didn't seem like you had really read the background notes on what a cause is supposed to be, okay? So you may need to, if you earned a one or a two on this assessment, you may need to go review the notes on what behavior causes are, how to ask the question, and how to predict an answer, okay? If you do that, 
uh, you do not need to fix your riot and school shooting behavior. Instead, I want you to go over your summative assessment that you took for the end of last week. Now, many of you have already submitted this, but I would like everybody to go over your summative assessment again after looking at your score on the riot assessment. Okay, so we, we turned in the riot assessment first. I scored it. Look at how well you did on that and then go back to this assessment because this is going to be my second grade on behavior causes and my third grade on ethogram writing. So I'm looking to see that you're growing and getting better at those skills. It's not enough just to turn something in. You have to get better at the skill um, if you would like your grade to improve, which hopefully everybody does. Once you've done that, once you've evaluated your scores on the riot assessment, and you've updated your assessment on ethograms and behavior causes, the one about the snake, and you think that represents your very best work, you're done. For the week, you simply need to go and answer the survey question that just says, I have finished reviewing and updating my summative assessment on ethograms and behavior causes. If you click yes, I will go and grade it, and I'll enter those scores into the gradebook, and you're done for this week. Okay. Uh, if you have questions, please visit me during office hours. Um, otherwise, I hope everybody stays safe and, and has an enjoyable week.